Hey there, this is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and today is Saturday, the 2nd of November, 2024. I hope you're all doing well. So, let's see, lots to cover here. Last Sunday, I had a lovely half-hour chat with my friend Lana, one of my favorite people in this world. And uh, we talked about a half hour. It was, you know, I was, she don't know this because it wasn't a phone where we could see each other, but I was near tears just in being so happy to hear her voice again. I have missed Lana. We've fallen and out. Our lives go in different orbits sometime. I think that's the best way to put it. But we both have a very deep love of each other and and a deep, deep connection. So it was lovely to talk as always. And um, we filled each other in on little bits of our lives in our in-between times. And we've been, you know, conversing a lot online, which is nice, but it's still not the same, you know. And it made me remember one thing that we don't talk about enough, which is that Lana is one heck of a good vocalist. So I've got to think of something to have an excuse to have her appear on a song of mine, because I've been working on a lot of stuff, as, as many of you know. <clears throat> and her voice would be a welcome addition to anything. So if you're watching this, Lana, you're going to hear from me about that. So that was that was Sunday. Um, overall, this week I've been very almost paralyzed by my unhappiness over. I really don't have the money for November bills, and I don't know how I'm going to get by. Um, I'm sorry, I don't say that as a downer. It's just the truth. Uh, I am hopeful uh, that things will get better in very short order but um, yeah I gotta be able to pay my light bill and to pay my internet slash cable bill uh, especially because I have the money for the others so you know the rent and the phone but um, yeah it's a dire time for me um, I hope for my best and that things will get better um, also oh since the last time we spoke I've moved over to another book. This is 50 Visions of Kate Bush by Tom Doyle called Running Up That Hill, which despite the trite title, I just started it yesterday. I'm only, what, 40 pages in? Already wonderful. It's all a um, series of interviews with Kate and people around her life and transcriptions of her appearances on radio and TV over in England and abroad and it's just a marvelous book so far I don't think it's gonna get worse I think it's only gonna get better so really enjoying that uh, a, a nice reminder of just how much I love Kate's music which I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you know uh, its uniqueness the purity of her muse her focus um, there's no one like her you know so it's a nice reminder just was reading about influences and I so see them I already knew them but Elton John and David Bowie huge on her life <clears throat> and mentioning an, an album I haven't listened to in a while I need to go back because it is a great album and that's Elton John's album Madman on the Water is it on the water or across the water? Whichever it is. I think it might be a madman across the water. It's one or the other. It's the one unless it's not. But um, I have to go listen to that because I remember how much I enjoyed that album. Uh, an Elton John album, I don't really hear talked about much because it was very early for him. Uh, that I think is a, a, a mighty fine album. Um, is called Empty Sky. I, I was especially pleased I remember always with a song on that called um, Valhalla or Come to Valhalla whichever it is it's been such a long time now it just tell me I gotta listen to both of those during the coming week which I, I will make sure to do 
although I have a lot to listen to because I was sent a bunch of stuff for review both physically and digitally and there's a lot of good stuff to get into so lots of that to to come what else um had a lovely conversation yesterday with my dear friend Suzanne that was great I woke up this morning to some wonderful uh, downloads from my friend Rob Gennarini that uh, thank you Rob if I, I haven't mentioned that yet to you already I downloaded them I put them in folders for myself and I will listen to both the beat and the old wishbone ash I love wishbone ash I think Rob, I don't think you and I have ever discussed that. I remember being in ninth grade, something like that, and listening to Wishbone Ash Live Dates. What a superb album. That, that was what hooked me on the band. I started there and went backwards. I, I think I'm fairly cliche and that my favorite Wishbone Ash albums are Pilgrimage and Argus. But to me, I don't know that they ever reach that pinnacle again. Those are just two such perfect albums. So with those wonderful twin guitars and, you know, especially with Argus, the kind of mythical concepts, you know, very Arthurian, I would say. Um, great stuff and thank you for sending me both those shows uh, I'll let you know I'll give you my thoughts on them when I can absorb them that's the thing I was explaining to my nephew Dave came over today and we were talking about movies and I have some movies I have a lot of movies that I've never got to watch and I said it's finding the mental space because you know even though there's nothing, you know, I, I'm disabled and retired, so there's nothing I have to do, but I keep up my website <coughs> and I do my best to keep up my obligations as that relates. So um, a band had sent me um, a track by track of one of their, their brand new CD that came out yesterday. So I told them I'd have it up and I want to have it all done by Monday night. So... I have to get that done and then there's other stuff that I don't want to create too much of a backlog that I need to catch up on with some remasters and some new stuff and that kind of stuff and I think I'm up on movies I said I would review I think I've done that um, I think I'm up to date on books I believe anything I put in books or DVDs, Blu-rays right now is stuff that I choose to, not that I'm obligated to. Like I know with this Kate book, when I finish this, I will write a review of it because I think it's important that fans know that it's out there and know that it's worth their time. So, you know, these are all things when you, what you, that you think of when you, especially when you run a website, because Prog Sheet is me. You know, um, and waiting to hear back. By the way, for for several interviews that I I put some seeds out there for. Uh, beyond that, what else? Who else have I talked to? Um, I talked to Dawn. I talked to. I think I talked to Roz during the week. I believe so. My friend Mark. My friend Pete. Irwin. Um, Airy, obviously, and I really think that's about it. But um, anyway, I, I'm going all over the place here. It happens. So my health is, you know, stable as it as it were. You know, it's still a lot of pain in that. I've been for two weeks now. After a recommendation, I've been having two tablespoons a day of olive oil. And I'm, I can feel my joints feeling, I don't know if it's psychosomatic, but they feel not quite as horrible as they did before. So, and, and olive oil has a ton of benefits. And uh, 
all I need is to have some lemon or maybe some apple cider vinegar and if I throw up I could throw up on a salad and there you go you got some Wilcox vinaigrette so I hope you're all doing well be in touch send me a line drop me a line drop me a call write me a poem I'm right down the hall I love you all bye bye